Hey guys, Eric here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how do you get iTunes to stop charging your credit card. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to do it on your phone and also on desktop, depending on how you are viewing things right now. So I'm showing you what's on my screen so we can go through on the phone first. First things you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to settings. You're gonna click your name, your Apple ID at the top of the screen, and then you're gonna to wanna to click on iTunes and App Store. Then you're gonna again click on your Apple ID at the top of the screen. Click View Apple ID. You want to scroll down and you will find subscriptions. Click on that. And then that's where you're going to see the Apple Music subscription, also called iTunes. And you can see that I have the $9.99 plan. And then you can cancel the free trial. Or if you are paying already at that point, uh, that's where it'll say Cancel Subscription, where it says Cancel Free Trial on my screen. So now if you go back to the uh, subscriptions, you'll see very small there it says Expired. So if I click on it, there's going to say that there, uh, I can select an option to uh, resubscribe, but that I am currently not subscribed anymore to this service. If you are at, on a desktop, you can go to music.apple.com and log in with your Apple ID. Go into the upper right hand corner, click settings. And then if you scroll to the very bottom of the page, this is where you'll find subscriptions. And for me, it says subscribe right now. Um, this is where you could click to uh, cancel your subscription if you're already subscribed. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to delete your credit card from the iTunes store so that you don't have to worry about any more subscriptions popping up, especially if you have kids that might be using your devices and clicking buttons and not knowing what they're doing. So I'll catch you in the next video to show you how to do that.